Time expressions can be tricky, but mastering them is essential for using the present perfect tense effectively. Let's dive into some of the most common ones, since, for, just, already, yet, and ever. First up is since. We use since to indicate a specific point in time when something started. For example, I have lived in this city since 2010. This tells us that my life in this city began in 2010 and continues to the present. It's like marking the start of a journey. Now, let's talk about for. Unlike since, which points to a specific moment, for refers to a duration of time. You might say, I have been studying English for five years. This expression emphasizes the length of time I've been engaged in this activity. It's all about the journey, not just the starting line. Next, we have just. This word is used to indicate that something happened very recently. For instance, I have just finished my homework. It conveys a sense of immediacy, as if the action is still fresh and relevant. It's like saying, I'm right here, and I've just accomplished something. Then there's already. This word suggests that something has happened sooner than expected. For example, I have already seen that movie. It implies that I've completed the action before the anticipated time, perhaps surprising someone who thought I hadn't seen it yet. It adds a layer of excitement to the conversation. Speaking of expectations, let's move on to yet. This word is often used in negative sentences and questions. For example, I haven't finished my project yet. It indicates that the action is still pending, creating a sense of anticipation. In a question, you might ask, have you eaten yet? This implies that you're curious about whether the action has occurred or not. Finally, we have ever. This word is used in questions and negative sentences to refer to any time up to now. For instance, have you ever traveled abroad? It opens the door to a wide range of experiences and invites the listener to share their stories. It's a great way to spark a conversation about life experiences. So let's recap. Since marks a specific starting point, while for emphasizes duration, just highlights recent actions, already indicates something happened sooner than expected, yet points to something still pending, and ever invites reflection on experiences. Understanding these time expressions can significantly enhance your communication skills in English. They help you convey not just when something happened, but also the nuances of your experiences. So, practice using these expressions in your conversations and watch your fluency grow.